guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm here with my boyfriend. That feels weird to say so. What? This is Dylan. And actually first, I wanted to thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. Like seriously, that means so much to me. You guys don't even know. But in today's video, I'm going to get my tongue pierced actually in like T minus 24 minutes. Okay. You know, it's, it's out of school season. So 24, 24 minutes. minutes. I just feel like that like I can pull it off you know like with the it's eyebrow piercing the yeah and it's about the experience yeah. <laughs> with like the eyebrow piercing and like my nose I just I feel like I can do it I don't know yeah, you're so, gonna look good <laughs> I think it'll look good too oh it's I gonna know. look good I think it'll be like one of those cute piercings on me maybe okay maybe no but, <laughs> for sure I feel like it's gonna hurt but I heard that it like heals in like a week but I also looked it up and then it says like three to four weeks it only hurts for like a week I think is what it is but like I can I can deal with pain for a week right like oh yeah that's It'll fine, fine. so we're just gonna do it whatever we spent yesterday preparing for this and went to the grocery store and <laughs> bought like a bunch of stuff I'm preparing to not be able yeah, to eat like stuff. I want to be on literally like a, a soft diet so we bought like Jello, yogurt, pudding, pudding, chicken noodles. Chicken noodles that I didn't even know existed. No, <laughs> it's basically chicken soup. But yeah, so we have all the food and everything. The only bunch thing, of popsicles. Popsicles. The only thing that I was a little worried about when like watching some of like the tongue piercing YouTube videos were that there's a potential one for like nerve damage, I guess, but we're gonna turn around that. Um, <laughs> but also it not being far back enough that like your teeth could chip or like it was like does tongue piercings chip your teeth that was like popping up. So I watched a video and she said it just has to be far back enough like even like on the top and even if like the bottom can't go that far back they can like angle it. So I'm definitely gonna like talk to the piercer about that. Um, but that's pretty much the only thing before and then just ask him about like how long he thinks like the pain's gonna last. I'm cleaning gonna ask him process. how bad it is. Cleaning process, yeah, that's what I was gonna ask him about. And then we'll probably go to Walmart and pick up some stuff. Cause I think, I, you know, Listerine is is alcohol mouthwash, I think. And I think Would that need, be good for I think you need alcohol free. Really? We have to ask him. We'll ask him. Yeah. Don't let me forget. No. Um, <laughs> no. Heck yeah, yeah we're gonna so get to it. Oh God. I'm more nervous than I thought I would be. Like I usually don't get that nervous for piercings. She was sweating earlier today. <laughs> I just feel like that this is gonna hurt. But then I also, this is what I was gonna say. I also looked it up and it said that the initial piercing doesn't hurt, but like a few days later is when it hurts. Like after a week it doesn't hurt and then it heals in like three or four weeks fully. So that's what I'm, my understanding of it at least right now. Needless to say, she's gonna be fine. She's gonna crush it and she's I know, gonna look fine. bomb. But this is also what I was gonna say. Talking about this though, like actually calms me down. Like I feel like filming it and talking through it and like just everything, yeah. like, you, cause you know how I am. Like I'll oh, yeah. stress over like what I have to do, but like just like talking about oh, it and like getting it all like, it like feels good to talk about it. So I don't know, but I'll probably get nervous as soon as we get there. I, I feel good now, but I, I do want a You'll little bit. Right. You gotta get the adrenaline pumping. I know, exactly. I do want a little bit of the adrenaline to kick in so it hurts a little bit less at least, like if it even does hurt. Is it too early to leave? It's like 10, probably not, right? No. We could probably go We could get there a little early. Okay. Hell yeah. All right, all right, we'll see you when we get there. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, we're here. We're live. <laughs> it's go time. Oh, it's cold. It's go time. Uh-huh. Oh boy. Here we go. You ready? No. What do you mean no? <laughs> oh, it's go time. There's no turning back. Oh, it's go time. So how do you feel? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I just kind of like went down a little bit, but... No, you're ready for it. I just, yeah, I just don't know. I feel like once I'm here, it's the anticipation, you know? Like now it's like a little bit better. But I'm yeah? What about the adrenaline? Well, I don't know. 
I don't know. To pump in? I, I'm a little shaky. I do. A little shaky? Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> nah, you'll be good. Oh, you're nervous. I can see it. Look at you. Stop. <laughs> Any alcohol free mouthwash works fine. Do that for the next five to seven days. After that, you can stop using mouthwash. After about 10 days, you can change it to a shorter bar if you like. And for the next few days, try to avoid alcohol, spicy foods, and stuff with long beer. Okay. Any questions? Hey, you got all that? It's really not bad. Okay. <laughs> you're going to spread that around for about 10 15 seconds. Put it back in a cup when you're done. There's that to wipe your mouth with. And then in case you drool during the process. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've heard like Tom Pearson was chipping teeth or something. Like it has to be far back enough. Well, that depends on how far you can stick your tongue out for how far back it can go. So, okay. usually the people that end up chipping their teeth most of the time, it's because they got a very short tongue. Oh, God. So, so then it's very hard for them. Okay. They can even like angle it like if they wanted it further back, you know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, but the bottom is what's gonna still clank on your teeth. Oh, so okay, okay, not the top of the Yeah. Okay, alright. Stick your tongue out as far as you can. I need my hand. Stick it out for me. Stick it out as much as you can. Are you ready? Oh, there you go. Alright. Don't break too heavy because you make yourself pass out. Stick it out. You got this, babe. Stick Come on. You're pulling it in. Stick it out. <laughs> Alright, babe. Come on. Stick it out of there. There you go. You're almost done. You're almost done, babe. There you are. You can pull it in now. You'll be alright. You're alright, babe. <laughs> I think that's the slowest I've seen anyone pull their teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how. Were you afraid it was going to catch on your teeth? I know. I, was, I didn't know how to get my in. <laughs> how does it feel? It feels good. I feel fine. You'll probably talk weird for a little while. <laughs> Well, I'll do the majority of the talking since Morgan cannot. She was a trooper. She got it done. When the piercer asked her to stick her tongue out though, she kind of pulled it back in a little bit. I didn't mean to, honestly, it hurt. <laughs> it felt like I was sticking my tongue out when he told me to stick it out more. Like, I was like, I am. <laughs> I felt like it was on my, I felt like it was out. Like, it was weird. I you did a great it. job initially and then you just started pulling it back in. She was probably just worried that the bar, when he was piercing it, was gonna like hit her tooth. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. No? Uh -uh. You definitely were. Uh -uh. I don't think about it. I was just trying <laughs> to stick it out and let him do what he needs to do, you know? It feels different. I thought it was gonna feel really. What's it feel like? Like, it feels fine, but like, it takes up less space than I thought it was gonna. It's like hard to talk now because it kind of like is sore. Oh, but... it's gonna be sore for a little bit. Thank you. What? <laughs> Once it heals, it feels like there's definitely gonna be enough room to like talk normally. Honestly, go. the top doesn't hurt, it's underneath. <laughs> I'm talking about any emotion in my head. It's that little thingy that connects your tongue to your mouth. Uh huh. That like little, I don't even know what that's called, but I know what you're talking about. Is it hitting that? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Kinda. And it feels weird to swallow. Yeah, you can just gonna be honest to I know, I'm Captain <laughs> Obvious. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. <laughs> but no, she did really well. Thank you. Yeah, good job. Oh. You gotta show them what we're working with. They wanna see it. Oh yeah, look at that. Hell yeah. It's in a good spot. It is in a good spot, looks good. 
Oh, you could pull it off really well, oh, too. God. It's getting sore. Well, looks like you're gonna have to load up on some ice cream or pudding or popsicles. I feel pro. I feel <laughs> That, too. Dang, look at it. Hey, looks good. Why can't you do that during the piercing? <laughs> underneath is barely, I don't want to do that. It needs to be like all the way out, like underneath. You know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about. It's getting sore. I'm just gonna have to relax for a little bit. That's fine. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in to another Morgan Bolin <laughs> YouTube video. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button, drop a like, leave a comment. Give her some words of encouragement. <laughs> All right, we'll update ya. Will we? Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe. She'll probably let you know in another YouTube video. So it is one day after I got my tongue pierced. Not a full 24 hours. I did want to give you guys an update. Last night, obviously, like right after, I was pretty much mute. But we did get ice cream. Once I drank like cold water, that felt really good on it. And it kind of loosened up and I was able to talk kind of how I am like right now. This morning, it was like just sore. Like I couldn't talk right away. To me, it's really just about getting it like loosened up, like eating something and drinking cold water. The other thing is I took ibuprofen last night and that really helped. And I took it this morning when I woke up because I still wanted to sleep a little bit longer, but it was uncomfortable. When that kicked in, like, it really helped. It went away. And then I took it again, like, you know, six hours later when you can. I'm talking pretty well. Some words, obviously, like, using my whole mouth that I, like, need more of my tongue. They're a little bit harder to pronounce, as you can probably tell. I have been cleaning my tongue with alcohol-free mouthwash after everything I eat when I get up in the morning and before I go to bed. It is a little bit swollen, like it's just thicker, like around than what it usually is for me, but that should go down soon. It does sit really well in my mouth. It doesn't like hit my teeth or anything, so that's good. I was able to eat half a bar this morning and then like chewing something is kind of weird because you still feel like you gotta like do that thing to like clear off your tongue, but there's a piercing right there. So I ate a yogurt. I eat it super slow. I had the applesauce. ate that super slow. Drank a protein shake. I'm still like hungry. Like I feel like I'm constantly hungry because it takes me forever to eat. It took me like a half an hour to eat that applesauce and I kind of just, I got bored. Like I put it down and then I'm like, oh, I still have applesauce to eat because it's like, it takes so long to eat that you just, you just stop, but you're hungry. So, so I'm probably just going to eat like some SpaghettiOs for dinner or something. I'm definitely talking a lot better than I thought I would be at this point. Like I said, it's not too painful. It's tolerable, but the ibuprofen definitely helps. So if you guys are considering getting your tongue pierced, I definitely recommend it. It's I think the fastest piercing to heal because it's like in your mouth and I do really just want to thank you guys for 200 subscribers again since I couldn't really talk yesterday uh, for the outro thank you guys for that it means so much to me and I'll see you guys in the next one